Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, hello. Welcome to the Gritty Gaming Network. You caught me in the news channel newsroom. Uh, we're talking about this week's biggest gaming moments. This will hopefully be the first episode of many. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get to today's first topic. Fuck, I fucked that up. Let's get to today's first topic. Much better. If you're one of the many fans that helped catapult Hogwarts Legacy to the top of the Steam sales charts, you may be surprised to find out that Twitter does not share your same enthusiasm. Here for today's hot take is Will underscore Overguard. Please do not support the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. Friends, colleagues, colleagues, cohorts, the whole lot of you, I'm asking you very sincerely, please do not stream it. Don't make YouTube videos about it. Don't buy it. And don't bloody pre-order it. Um, the reason being is that you may not be aware that by supporting this title, you are essentially aligning yourself with some really heinous transphobic values. J.K. Rowling, a.k.a. Joanne, has made it extremely clear that they see the success of this title as being vindication of their transphobic views. That, you know, by this title doing well, that means that they were correct. And honestly, you just have to look on the Steam forums to see the kind of people that are cheering for this game. Please don't be among them. If you weren't aware of all this, I'll do a longer video after this to explain a bit more of the nuances, but I just had to say, please don't support this game. Please. Well, that's a big yikes for me. Enjoy what you want, people. Who gives a fuck what these Twitter people think? Anyways, let's move on to the next story. Now, as many of you know, Microsoft was the most recent to lay off a mass amount of employees. 10,000, they say. Um, now, as the smoke is clearing, we're seeing some of the results of what's happening in the gaming industry. And it's not looking good for VR fans. Um, if you were ever hoping that VR would come to Xbox, especially with how close VR 2 is coming to PlayStation, don't hold your breath because the chances just moved to 0% with Microsoft laying off entire teams behind virtual, mixed reality, and HoloLens. For the two whopping fans of Crystal Dynamics' Marvel Avengers, they may be sad to hear that they are dropping all support of the game here very soon and in fact all cosmetics will be free in the very near future there will be no new content added um the only thing that you're not going to be able to get if you're an xbox user is of course the playstation exclusive spider-man skin uh but everything else is going to be free they're done they're moving on from it and probably for good reason this was a major hemorrhage for square enix and you know they've got to Focus on their upcoming game, which is going to be our next topic, Forspoken. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I was not a huge fan of the Forspoken demo, but that's not what this video is about, but I'll go ahead and link at the top if you want to go ahead and watch that. But basically, we're seeing a ton of huge red flags from Forspoken, which releases in two days. Two days, I can't believe it. Anyways, first off, the demo obviously was not received great by a lot of people. I still applaud Square Enix for delivering a demo to us. Uh, it gives the consumer the opportunity to decide if they want to put their money on it. You know, I'm, I'm all for that. But game reviewers, for some reason, have still not received a review code, or at least a lot of them are voicing concerns that they have not. Embargoes are showing to be till the day before. Uh, PC requirements are absolutely fucking terrible requiring the most absolute behemoth of a computer to even work it it's crazy especially with how the game looks and not to mention forespoken had a huge leak at least the first 75 minutes of forespoken which was leaked uh so it might help you decide whether the game is going to be for you or not we'll see how sales are let's move on Returnal arrives to PC on February 15th. I haven't seen a bunch of hype about this. It's not like breaking news or anything, but if there's even one person that I could convince to play Returnal, play it, man. If your computer can handle it, play that fucking game. It's awesome. Ubisoft may have a strike on their hand as workers are very much up in arms after CEO Yves Gilmot emailed them about dismal financial results saying the ball is now in their court to deliver. 
In a January 11th email viewed by the Washington Post, Gilmet wrote that the company expects a 10% revenue decrease this year and a loss of over 500 million euros. Basically, the company has decided to cancel all secret projects, go all in on Assassin's Creed and mobile games, and keep bulldogging the same fucking results they've been getting. So, good on them. I hope they do strike, and really, I hope that these you know obviously talented devs just go to a different company because ubisoft is not it that's a dead fucking company in the water let's move on xbox and bethesda will soon present a developer direct on wednesday january 25th providing fans with an inside scoop of what to expect in the upcoming year uh, it looks like it's mostly going to be focused on Arcane Austin, Mojang Studios, Turn 10, and Zenimax Online. Uh, so we're talking like Redfall, Forza, Mojang, isn't that fucking uh, <laughs> Minecraft? Anyways, uh, yeah, Minecraft Legends. Yep, it's right in front of my face. Anyways, uh, surprisingly, Starfield missing from the showcase, but it sounds like, based off various tweets that I've seen, Starfield will be getting its own show very soon with a release date to boot. So very exciting nudes. Fans should tune in. Xbox fans, PlayStation fans, it doesn't matter. Let's all just watch. It's going to be at 12 p.m. Uh, this Wednesday. And with our last piece of news, we have our fail of the week with Hot Tub Twitch streamer Amaranth, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Basically, she jumped on the trend of asking people me or the PS5 and was absolutely decimated in the polls by the PS5 with a whopping 65 to 35%. So a rare W for Sony boys. All right. Well, that's really all I got for this week's news. If you like it, leave a like, comment. We'll maybe do some more. I'll get more organized. I know this is chaotic as fuck. This is my first time trying to do something like this. So, anyways, thanks for watching.